All right, we're traveling over to your deck now. This is going to contain 14 collectibles. Uh, this is going to be the final mission related video. There is one more mission after this. There's only one collectible, so I'll just tack it on the end of this. So let's go ahead and find the first codex, shall we? As soon as you spawn in, go through the door, turn your left. All right, now we have a mastery token. Uh, you're going to go through another door here, and you're going to see the laser grid in front of you. Now, this is part of the story path here. You're going to shoot that button, jump across, turn around. You can shoot the button above to pull a pedestal down. So now we're going to jump down, and we're going to wait for this thing to go all the way back to the top, and we can now take an alternate route and climb up this wall. Turn around, jump back. In the center of this room is going to be the mastery token. All right, so just a little bit later on, we're following the path, and you're gonna see there's gonna be a question mark right above you. And this is part of the story path, and it's gonna lead you to a codex. I don't think it's possible to miss this one. You'd have to really try really hard not to get it. But you wanna pick that up. Now, you're supposed to jump through that gate in front of you, uh, we're not going to do that. Instead, from that same spot, we got to go get another question mark over to our left. So we're just going to kind of turn 45 degrees to our left and jump up and break through a hidden room which contains the record. How about I show you an extra life? A little bit later on, right before you get to the secret encounter, uh, you're going to be able to climb up into this vent here and follow it around. And before you get to that breakable wall, now this is story path, before you get to that breakable wall, uh, you can go up to here and pick up that extra life. And now you're presented with the secret encounter just after that. Not too difficult, so here it goes. Oh, first thing you need to do is actually push the box all the way to the other side. And once you're on the other side, then you just have to jump up into the hole. And there she is. I'm just going to gather them all up and then just do a BFG. And there we go. All right, so after that, directly after that, you're gonna do some uh, wall climb in here, uh, going from one and then to another, ultimately to a pole just above us, and then swing through the grate just beyond it. Now, instead of going forward, turn around and actually jump back and then swing up to where the question mark is. And there you go, Metalhead, that is your final record if you've been getting them all along and did the fortress stuff. All right, so I'm going to pick things up from that last spot. We're just going to turn back around and we're going to pick up a sexy mastery token. So again, you can take the pole if you want or just double jump over here and then jump up and then turn around. Once again, we're going to kind of backtrack just a little bit and pick up that mastery token. All right, so in that next encounter that you go to, before you leave, uh, there's going to be a codex up high. Make sure you grab that. Go to the next encounter, and then after that encounter, you're going to come down this path here. We're going to go down a little bit. Now, there's a little spot between the rocks here. We need to drop down uh, roughly at about this position, and then boost into a hidden room over here where the question mark is. Oh, I almost blew it again. All right, so this is the next D encounter area here, and you can see there is one Praetor suit upgrade in this area. This was a pretty uh, big uh, combat area. You may remember it. Now, there is a hidden door up there or a hidden barrier you got to break open. You're going to have to do a very tricky double jump dash combo to get up to the suit point. All right, we got a codex file here. You can see uh, we're not far from the previous spot. You got a couple question marks in front of us. So let's just go ahead and knock these both out. 
We're just gonna keep following this path here. I'm just gonna skip past these these guys. We're gonna grab this codex, and there's a pretty tall pile of rocks in front of us. I'm gonna jump on top of that to then jump over to that next question mark. So technically, we just ran under this a moment ago. So from that rock formation, you can jump up to that location, grab the toy, and we're gonna get another suit point. As you see, the objective it's taking you, there's not much left uh, here, but you're going to ha see the actual Praetor suit hologram kind of in the background as you're approaching that. Just go to the back of the room, no biggie. All right, so finally we got a cheat code. This is actually gonna be the last cheat code that you can find. So you see the objective marker. Instead of going to it, we're actually gonna take a, a detour path uh, down the left. Well, it's actually not a detour, it's technically a story path. Uh, but you're going to interact with that console. After the cutscene ends, you're going to turn around and now go through the door on the right. Now we're just going to follow around the left side. And we're going to have to break through this wall to grab the cheat code. Now I'm going to pop the trophy here. But it is worth noting that there is one additional cheat code that you get when you've completely upgraded the, the Praetor suit. So I'll just show you here real quick. I'm gonna do my final upgrade and I earned a cheat code there. And I also got a, a, another trophy for an unrelated thing for upgrading the suit. All right, so the final toy is going to be over here in this room. There's something quite enjoyable about the final few collectibles in the game. You start popping a whole bunch of trophies. There you go, playlist sold separately. All right, so we're going to get an extra life. You can see the objective. It's actually down below me. And I'm going to have to swim in this uh, purple water all the way down to the bottom. At this point, you may not need the extra lives unless you're doing the extra life mode. All right, so this is a, a secret encounter plus a extra life. Now, this is actually earlier in the mission, but for some reason, I never found a way to get up here. So what I did is I just got to the end of the mission, and then I used the fast travel, and I was able to select this point. And here we go. So out the window, I'm going to break through the rock, get the extra life, and then right down the hall is the secret encounter. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't figure it out. Maybe someone can post it in the comments, but I, the only way that I was able to get here was using the fast travel system once I got to the end of the level which worked out well because it puts you like 10 feet away. I should be using the, uh, I wasn't using the right weapon there. All right, so that's it for that mission. Now I just want to show you Final Sin. There's only one collectible, but there are a few extra lives. So again, if you're doing the extra life mode, those four extra lives may be very critical to you as you're heading towards the uh, final boss. And if you're short on lives and you need that trophy, just as a reminder, you can do extra life mode on any difficulty. You can even do it on easy, thankfully, because the harder difficulties are hard. All right, so there's extra life number one. There's another extra life that's going to be above us. And we're going to have to break through this wall. You know what? I don't think you can actually miss this one. I think the game knows where you're about to go, so it's kind of preparing you a little bit. This is extra life number two. All right, so here is the one Kodak. Uh, there's a two-story building. There's also an extra life in here. There's a pair of elevators around the corner. Uh, so we're gonna do two things. One, we're gonna go to the fire elevator, look through the doors and shoot that marker. Now I'm gonna go in the other elevator, climb up to the top, and the final codex is gonna be right next to us here. Which, of course, will pop yet another trophy. If I can only read. All right, so there's an extra life. The reason why I had you hit that little marker was so you can move the elevator out of the way so you can come back 
down here. Now, I actually picked it up earlier. Uh, I didn't get the capture. So the final collectible here in the main story missions is another extra life. It's actually not a collectible, but you're just going to have to take this boost to the wall. That was from the ground floor. Then take the stairs up. And then we're going to find a, a, a center column here full of gook. We're going to go around on the back side here and break in, drop down, and pick up that extra life. And that'll do it.